Hi, my name is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury and workers' compensation attorney. I've been practicing this area of law for over 25 years here in Sacramento. And in this video, we're going to answer a question we received here. What are the different types of wrongful death in California? The question is a little bit ambiguous, so we're going to focus on the types of wrongful, keyword wrongful death in California. Wrongful is when someone passed away or died and they should not have. What facts or circumstances give rise to the wrongful death could vary from case to case. From one extreme, wrongful death can be caused by the intentional misconduct or the intentional act of another. Murder is a simple of that. A step below intentionally causing someone's death is often referred to as recklessly causing someone's death. Someone acts recklessly when they know specifically of a likely serious harm or death would occur and they proceeded in the face of it anyway. A good example of a reckless conduct is often drunk driving. You know that when you drink excess amounts of alcohol and then you get behind the wheel of a vehicle, you know there's a very real risk that someone is going to be seriously injured or pass away. That is reckless conduct. Negligence is somewhat synonymous with accidental, but a little bit different. Negligence is when someone fails to act as a reasonable person would in the same or similar circumstances. A reasonable person would stop at a stop sign. A reasonable person would drive at a safe speed. Those are situations in which if you fail to act as a reasonable person with not intending to cause harm, but it just happens, that is typically going to give rise to a negligence claim. Some of the biggest questions and biggest confusions over negligence and breach of the standard of care or breach of a duty to act reasonably has to do with medical malpractice. If someone were to pass away in a hospital or under the care of a doctor, just because they passed away does not mean that the doctor or the healthcare practitioner committed malpractice. The question is, did that doctor fail to act as a reasonable doctor under the same or similar circumstances? If a reasonable doctor would have acted the same way, then there's probably not negligence, and unfortunately, or fortunately, depends how you look at it, there's no wrongful death action. The flip side is if the doctor fails to act reasonably, then that might support negligence and thus might support a wrongful death action. So to oversimplify, there are three basic types of wrongful death actions. There is what's known as common negligence, when it's failed to act reasonably. There is recklessness, when you proceed in the face of danger and knowing significant harm might occur. Or there's when you intentionally intend to harm or kill somebody, such as murder. If you've got questions about a wrongful death here in California, I hope you consider reaching out to myself or one of the members of my firm. My name is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com or you can call me directly at 916-438-1819.